Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy P, also known as Captain P67. We're here today with a super crazy OP, just bonkers build on Wolong Fallen Dynasty. Uh, as you can see in the clips at the very start of the video, um, insane numbers of base, insane numbers of the spells, and just what it does in general. Uh, just to give you a full breakdown of the build itself, it is the White Emperor Grace it, which is super insane, which I'll go into quickly, and it also includes lightning damage as well as toxin damage, poison damage, and the reason why those are the best in the game is because not only does poison damage take away actual HP from the enemy, so whether it's a lower class enemy or a high class boss, they're going to lose damage anyway, and on top of that, the spirit will start breaking. And as you can see in the clips, and I've also included um, later towards the video, a full run of the new upgraded builds I've got. So all the, vid uh, the videos you've seen before are like a previous build. This is the most up-to-date build, which I'll include towards the end of the video. So I'll show you how to use the build itself. But um, without further ado, let's just get into it. Um, it's just super crazy, and it just does everything you need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the camera over um, so you can literally see the full build itself. And we'll just get that done. So I'll just move this up here quickly. Then I'll go through all the stats, I'll go through the specs and everything with you and give you a full breakdown of the build. And there we go, perfect. All right, so you can see the full game itself now and I'll quickly go over the stats with you and how we built it and why we built it. So if we go over here quickly, uh, the weapon we are using is a Gooding Blade now, um, quick disclaimer, literally I was about to release this God Bill video out, then the patch notes came out 1.07 where they did nerf a few things and change a few things. Now, they said that the Gooding Blade did get nerfed for the martial arts kind of rushed down, which I feel that it did in some terms of damage, but I've still compensated with the martial arts extra damage on my build. And on top of that, you can still watch me just spirit break. And even in the clips at the start of the video, you see how it still works strong, still breaks monsters apart. And again, those clips are just before I upgraded this to the new, new build, which is just today. But on the Gooding Blade itself, what you really want to look out for, um, you can pretty much choose any weapon. I've got all the weapons in the game. Um, I'm stacked on level 5 gear. Like, I've got everything in the whole game, all the sets and everything, even level 4s. Um, I've just even deleted anything at level 4 at one point, so I just had a stack of level 5s. This is not including what's my inventory, and the same goes for armor pieces as well. Um, I've got the same thing with arm pieces. I've got everything and tested everything in the game. But I feel that um, this is definitely the best, most optimal build for everything. Um, base damage is strong, wizardry spells are strong, and obviously you can use a lot of wizardry spells because the metal phase is so high. Um, so yeah, again, good in blade definitely works perfectly. And what you want to use is toxin attack power, melee attack power for extra damage. Now, a key one to note to use is make sure you're using. The attack power bonus and whatever kind of uh, element you're using as long as you have this on and stack that element on your build you'll do some insane numbers and it increases the damage on everything so absolutely everything all your wizardry spells melee attacks and damage bonus in general so as you can see it says damage bonus toxin attack power and that's why we have toxin attack power on every single piece in the game if you want to be building for a gray set as well you can have a secondary melee weapon as you can see grace of shadow the white emperor as a sword we do not use this whatsoever i don't use it at all even though it is dope and I've got a great uh, role with it, I just don't need to use it. And again, I just love using this weapon and the build I've got, it's insane. And I've beaten every single boss on NG+, plus, no damage in the whole game. I beat it after the patch as well. So I've even done the old version on the new version with this build. So it covers all that. And I'll include all the links. I'll include the videos and the links in the description below so you can check those out if you wish. Most bosses took me a minute and a half on NG+, plus, no damage. But then later towards the game with some of the nerfs happening to the so-called Venom Snare, it took me probably about two minutes, two and a half minutes. But you can watch those yourself. Uh, bowls, we've got we've got a ammo tree upon range attack, enemy status for accumulation, damage dealt, toxin attack power. Same thing for the second part of the bowl. These will stack, so make sure you apply these on your weapons. Ammo ritual upon range attack, morale rank point gain. So as a fight goes on, you get more stronger the more you're dodging and parrying. And it's like a sight armor. Right? You're basically just going to be coming stronger and stronger and stronger and doing more damage and everything else in between. That's why the damage is insane, the build is insane. We also have damage dealt, toxin attack power and the lows will increase if you stack them up so if you see a number and you think it's not that great like 2.2 don't forget you can stack it so that plus that um, again is four almost close to five and then we can add more to it so it'll get even stronger on the helmet itself we've got the yellow turban soldier cap now we've got heaviness accumulation on enemies we've got damage to enemies with negative negative effects which is 3.2 
We've got Toxic Attack Power plus 19, which again, like I said before, if you get anything that does damage bonus to an element, just add more and more of that element. You'll get crazy stacks of stacks of power on top of what you're, uh, your whole thing. And that's why the numbers are so crazy. Um, we've got Poison Accumulation on enemies. So enemies get poisoned instantly with Venom Snare and it's just super strong. Then we have Power Gain upon Wizardry Spell. And then that does more damage overall. If you're not sure what something does, just click on the Options button and go over it. Power gain when you use a wizardry spell hits an enemy, increases attack damage to enemies dealt. So again, you're going to start the fight off, which I showed you, just by doing one spell, you get power gain instantly. That's where the numbers come crazy. Second piece we've got, we've got the Tysman champion armor, we've got damage received, damage dealt again, which I mentioned before, stacks with others. Tucks and attack power, which stacks more damage on top of the build. Spirit gain from normal attacks, definitely essential. When you feel you're running low, low just slash the enemy a couple, two times, you get your spirit meter back, and you can spam a lot of spirit, um, wizardry spells with this build, that's why it's insane. Plus the poison accumulation on top again. Uh, if you look on here, we've got martial arts damage. So if you saw me do that um, upside down, like windmill reverse somersault attack with that blade hitting it for mega damage, that's because I have martial arts damage on top included. So whether I mentioned certain things got nerfed, I'm still doing mega damage with my martial arts because I've got this included. Plus I've got toxin attack power again. Lightning attack power since we're using lightning to cause the strikes and break the spirit even more. Then we've got spirit vulnerability. Um, which is definitely opens up for more spirit vulnerability damage since we're doing insane amounts with the lightning plus the build itself So everything just stacks and stacks and stacks and just destroys the enemy in, in seconds And then um, so yeah spirit vulnerability on enemy upon deflecting counter attack poison accumulation on enemies again So again soon you get that poison they're inflicted and they get into a crumple state Which I included in the clip at the start which is kind of funny because you're trying to be serious But when you see a boss or someone just start choking to death or falling out the sky and <laughs> just I know it's just funny. So it gives you more openings and uh, another thing I want to mention as well very important Lightning damage um, obviously causes them like a stun effect somewhat to enemies anyway So not only will they be stunned by the lightning sometimes just stand there to get you extra blows the poison does the same thing So if you've got two elements doing that you get so many moments two or three moments where the enemy just standing still just like choking or dying or Getting emotional damage or something. I don't know but yeah, it's just great for you to do damage and it's just insane um, We've got spirit uh, damage taken, I think it says in extreme conditions Taken, it just comes across slowly, I like to read quick Taken in desperate conditions, so if you're very low on your spirit And you get hit, if you've got something like this on You won't take much damage per se off your spirit So it kind of saves you, which is pretty cool Then we've got toxin attack power, poison accumulation again on top Now we've got poison spirit damage to enemies inflicted with poison And that's extra 4% on top of everything I'm doing So the lightning will break the spirit the poison will spread the spirit when you're doing your hits anyway. And then you've got this included, so it all stacks and stacks and stacks. And that's why we break the spirit so quick and just destroy the enemies. Then we've got lightning attack power again to cause that extra stun. Then you can use anything on these, but I've got pretty dope uh, rolls. Now, we've got toxin damage, toxin attack power. Now, I don't think no one's explained this, and I haven't seen any videos explaining this, but after I've done my testing, what I found is any element that has actually the toxin damage, it's very key because... Using Venom Snare, it has been nerfed. Uh, everyone kind of knows it's been nerfed now, but mine still hits crazy strong. It still does ridiculous amounts of damage. And plus, with my build, I can literally throw four in a row out. So it will stack. They will accumulate so quick and just kick in that damage. And again, that's why I'm doing these no damage runs and just uh, making enemies uh, cough on that emotional poison damage. What I'm saying is, with the toxin damage, if you have that applied on, on top of anything, when you hit someone with an element of, say, poison, it'll do one tick a number. But what I found is whenever I had toxin damage or lightning damage on top of toxin attack power or lightning attack power, it does extra ticks. Now, those extra ticks will cause not only extra DPS damage because they take more damage, but it seems like it breaks the spirit even more. And I've actually got a new, brand new, new build coming out. New, new god build that's insane as well. Um, so I'll show that for a lightning build, but yeah. With this, the extra toxin damage is extra tick, so it's an extra bit of HP. It might not seem like a lot, but it does stack up over time. And like I said, with this build in the metal phase, you can spam so many wizardry spells. It's insane. Absolutely insane. So, again, if you ever see my speed runs, you can see me spamming out two or three venom snares easily and having enough spirit to do whatever else I want to do. So, without even doing anything, they take a lot of damage. And then the last one, we got damage dealt, which again, I mentioned before, if you stack damage dealt, damage dealt, damage dealt, what, somewhere around here, or these... Two, two, three, we got three, we got four. It's almost 10% of extra damage. Almost 10% extra damage, and that's insane. Uh, overall damage, that will include everything. Then we got toxin attack power again. Um, you can, not, damage reduction is fine, but I'll go into what we got and why we got it. Then um, I'm gonna quickly go over to the status. So what we're going for is 99 metal virtue, 10 earth virtue, and 34 wood virtue. 
And specifically, what that will give me is a full breakdown of this. So we got media attack power at 19, spell duration at 5.9. So when you're enchanting your sword with lightning, it does last for a good while. And obviously, we have that much spirit. We can always just reapply it whenever we want to. And because this, compared to a lot of other weapons and builds, it's so fast with your melee attacks. You don't ever feel restricted. I've tried all the weapons in the game. They are dope. And there's some do hit for a lot of damage, but they're really slow. With the Gooding Blade, it just hits so quick. And the way I've got it, mine hits for 100 plus damage per hit. And then if you do the triangle attack or the, say the heavy attack, that hits for 288 or 250 plus. Just the triangle on its own. So again, it just it's just so crazy, man. So crazy. Then on top of all that, I mentioned the lightning for the stun. So we've got, not only we've got high amount of poison, we've got 38 lightning. So when the lightning is enchanted on the sword, we hit for mega damage. But we can also use the Heaven's Rage, which I've used in some boss fights to just completely just nullify the boss to break in the spirit. Even on the last boss, I used two of those and it literally kill, it like puts the uh, that boss into like a broken state, which is just insane. Then we've got Toxin Attack Power, which is probably one of the highest I've seen on YouTube. It's probably one of the highest I've seen. Of all the builds, I don't think I've seen a Toxin Attack Power this high, 152. I've seen some about 120, 130, but not at 152. So again, very insane on the Venom Snare, plus the extra ticks of damage. And like I said, it does stack and you can use multiple of those. And you can enchant your weaponry poison if you want to. So again, you can make the build how you want to make it. But I'm telling you now, this is the most perfect, optimal build in the game. And it absolutely wrecks shot. For close quarters, far, far quarters, any situation you got, this covers everything. It is a true god build. Now we got damage dealt again on top of all that. We do 6.7% extra damage dealt on top of all that. We got 3.9 extra spirit damage as well. Again, we got plus martial arts damage. Why I'm saying my martial arts hit for a super amount of damage because it's so quick and so many hits as well on both martial arts on the Gooding Blade. And I'll go for those. And then this is this is super insane. So if you're talking about extra damage overall, damage to enemies with negative effects, we have 11.3. So if you hit someone with a martial art, like I said, with any martial art I use, it puts a slow on them. If I hit him with a Venom Snare, that's a negative effect. So that's a wizardry spell and a physical contact move, which I don't have to always be in range. Um, I can get in and get out super quick. And just by doing that alone, they're going to take 11.3% extra damage on top of all of this. So it all stacks. And then we've got Spirit Damage to enemies with Poison again. We're already breaking them with the Lightning. We're already breaking them with the Toxin. To have this on top as well, on top of everything, is just insane. Now, again, if you're not sure anything, just click on it and it'll actually give you a brief description. But um, damage bonus, toxin attack power, A minus, increases HP damage dealt in proportion to your toxin attack power. So that's why I've got toxin attack power and everything because it increases all the damage dealt to everything in general. We've got damage received. So again, God build is not always maximum offense, but it's to have good defense. We've got a lot of HP, we're stacked on defense, plus we negate a lot of damage with a 2.4%. In NG plus, they do hit super hard. So regardless, even if you had that fully stacked, you would be... After a few hits, you will die because it's that crazy and uh, fun. But uh, yeah, that's there. And also, I mentioned the spirit damage taken in desperate condition. If you obviously lose, use a lot of spirit wizardry spells and you're just not able to dodge or parry, you won't take as much damage. And that might happen a lot if you overextend too many wizardry spells. But again, with the metal virtue, you can hit a lot of wizardry spells and not even worry about that. And on top of all that, like I mentioned before, every time you hit enemies with spirit getting attacked, every time you hit for quick amount of hits with the good in blade, which you do all the time, you're gonna get that spirit back anyway. So I can literally have unlimited spirit to be honest with you, as long as I'm kind of close to the enemy. Um, and we just do everything that stacks and stacks. What I mentioned before, again, that toxin damage is key. So any element, try it out for yourself. If you've got lightning, go see if you do, see if you have actual lightning damage. So not only will you prop for that one tick of lightning, which will stun them and cause the spirit to break quicker, you do an extra tick and it all just stacks and stacks and stacks. Now, another insane thing about the build is people, this is very underestimated, enemy status effect accumulation. So I've already got a lot of poison accumulating, but the reason why all my kind of debuffs hit the enemy instantly on per slash or per hit is because of all this status accumulating all together. So we have poison damage on the enemy. We have lightning damage on the enemy. We have stone damage on the enemy. All included, that's just three elements crazily put together um, and they all work in sync. Obviously, poison causes DPS damage. Lightning causes spirit damage. What people don't look at is heaviness accumulation. Status afflicted when stone accumulation reaches a certain amount of damage. Increases spirit damage received. So again, they're going to take more spirit damage over time. So that stacks with the lightning and the poison. And it decreased their amount of spirit gain from themselves. And it also increases lightning damage received. So again, we're going to be doing even more lightning damage because they're going to be hit with this proc. Plus the poison kicking in. So it's three elements sinking together and working in just a beautiful bonus of damage. Now we have poison accumulation image, uh, enemies. Now again, this is probably the highest I've seen on any single God Bill video or so-called S tier Bill video. 32.4%, that's insane. 
Um, the negative effect duration on enemies, again, stacks with this. If you look at this, 11.3 damage. That's going to last even longer. So they're going to be hitting a vulnerable state for even longer. And all those buffs are going to be applied for longer. Or debuffs, we're going to call them that. Uh, burns accumulation, negative. That's just ir irrelevant. We don't even use that anyway. And it's only 5.3. So even if you did want to add some fire damage, you could. But it doesn't sync as well as these other three elements together. Which I put together meticulously on purpose. Spirit gain for normal attacks. I mentioned the reason that. You get your spirit gain from attacks. This is insane as well. Metal phase spell spirit consumption. Now it is negative 8.6, so again, we can keep doing wizardry spells and wizardry spells over and over and over again and not use much at all. So again, we can have three at the start alone and then just two, two slashes, we're back to neutral spirit and we can do more and more. Morale rank points gain, I think this is definitely essential, which a lot of people don't talk about. Um, if you're in a boss fight, an NG+, plus, you're obviously going to start lower rank. When you start doing no damage, you start building up your morale so you can get even higher and stronger and defeat the boss quicker. Now if you're going for a normal maps of NG+, plus, you obviously can start very low. But with something like this, even if it's just one of these, you're just going to level up so much quicker and it's so much more fun. Copper attention, not essential, but it's just on the build as a bonus, so take it. So can't go wrong with extra amount of copper. I'm sitting on a couple of million, easy. Uh, but yeah, not required, but if it comes part of the build, why not take it? Then we have damage reduction upon HP recovery. So you could use anything to get your HP back, um, whatever you want to use. But again, uh, this is more like a god build, more damage DPS, so we're not really looking to get any um, HP back, but if you just take a literal one pot of HP, get damage reduction again. Slow on enemies, now again a lot of people will think that slow is very bad in this game, but they don't understand how it works. Slow is another element that you can have to build up on certain enemies, but because my status is so high, the accumulation is insane. I literally just do one martial arts move, and they're always applied with slow, and... The more you apply it, the slower and slower they get. Plus, the, add the heaviness in what I mentioned before, accumulation. It, again, it just all stacks. And if you put the enemy to a halt where you slow them that much, they're just standing there. The lightning will break them. The gas will break them. The slow will break them. They're just standing targets, so you do more damage. And it gets even crazier when I get to the end of this as well, so stay tuned. So HP recovery upon deflection. Again, another bonus. Um, if you obviously don't want to be taking pots, or you can do like, if you feel that you don't have enough time or iframe, a couple of frames to take any pots, Something like this can save your ass. HP recovery on deflection. You do get attacked, obviously, quite a lot. Uh, a lot of enemies will attack you, but if you use something like that, you can get quite a bit of HP back, get yourself back in the game. Use a uh, HP recovery uh, element or a spell. One fatal strike, you literally back up to 75 HP, back in the game. So again, you can have that. It's not essential, but it's getting some bonus if you want it. For ammo tree upon range attack, not essential, but again, it's there. It's a bonus. You can use it. Power gain upon a wizardry spell. So again, like I mentioned, all think about all those buffs and debuffs in sync already. And then we just use, we have a power gain. So every time you use a wizardry spell, again at the start, amplify damage. You don't have to do anything. Amplify your own damage, you get a bonus for damage. And then you do a power gain on top of that. So increase attack damage dealt to enemies. So that will stack with that. So I told you this build is nuts. And then obviously we've got another one on top of all that. We've got damage amplification. So... Not only are you making the enemies suffer from poison, electric, stone damage, the slow damage on top. Well, slow per se, slow doesn't do damage separately. Um, once you get that fatal strike to an enemy, you do damage amplification. So it increases damage taken on top of all that. Um, after all that, in so once you break them, hit them with the fatal strike, they're ready for more damage. And I mentioned this before, spirit vulnerability, uh, spirit vulnerability on enemies on... Um, upon them once you obviously uh, deflect a character attack so increase the amount of spirit depleted by enemy attacks so all of that stacks again and then this is the most beautiful thing on top of all this so subtlety of metal phase requires a metal virtue value of 70 or greater to activate so make sure you have your metal virtue on 70 or above it will not work so when you basically kind of enrage the enemy the boss or lower class enemies 81 by using your venom snare your lightning attacks, your lightning uh, strikes from your enchanted sword, or anything like that, and you bait them, as soon as you hit them um, with the critical, well, when you deflect that critical blow, you hit them with subtlety and metal phase, what that'll do is it'll reduce their HP damage dealt and nor normal attack spirit gain. So it will stop them from doing as much damage to you. It will kind of F their uh, spirit up in general. So it's kind of like in shambles, like they can't gain that much spirit. And on top of all that, they actually take more damage from you. So, like I said before, if you think about all these buffs and debuffs applied all in together, and then you add this on top, 
Now, the key thing about this, one thing that's important, where it says subtlety and metal phase in the, the earlier part, the top part of the writing, this will be inflicted upon the enemy target. This negative effect is permanent and cannot be removed. A lot of people aren't aware that once it's on, it's on it. That's what the insane thing is. So again, once this is applied, it's not a case if you've got to wait so many or do a certain amount of things. I've checked all the gray sets and they're amazing. But what I love about this is once you obviously deflect that critical blow, this is permanently. You, there's no way to remove it from the bosses or the enemies. It's just on. So they guarantee to take more damage plus all this stuff included. So like I said before, this build is just absolutely insane, people. Um, I'm going to include all the videos in the description below for you, obviously. And uh, you can go watch the videos and just see how insane it is. But to do NG+, plus, no damage on every single boss in the game. I've even included some extra bosses and bonus fights for you where I've fought two people at the same time. No single damage. I've showed you like, how it works, how to like troll a little bit, and some martial arts included. Uh, but yeah, like I said before, this build just is absolutely god tier. Um, another thing I quickly want to go over as well. Uh, if you can see the equipment weight... It says 45.5, proportion is 38.7. Agility is B rating as well. So not only do we have like the hardest hitting like damage and just quick sharp hits, it's not a slow weapon. Um, this is where it excels compared to other weapons like a hammer or a mace. Them weapons are great and they do good damage, but they're just very slow and long winded. This just hits constantly every few, every second, just slash, 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 mega, mega damage, super quick. The build is nimble. So yeah, just to recap, Watch the clips at the start, you see how crazy the build is. Um, Venom Snare did get nerfed, they, as I said, mentioned before, uh, out of these. But one thing that people don't kind of go over how important this is. At the start of the clip, if you notice, because I broke the last boss's spirit so quickly, I just threw one, you can throw one Venom Snare at. When any boss or enemy reaches a pinnacle of their spirit being broken, it's stuck at that last little Miller, Miller like health or whatever you want to call it. As soon as you throw a Venom Snare, it hits like a physical hit. So people very underestimate its ability. Again, if you've got someone in a broken state, for you to get into a fight a boss, if a boss is spamming at you, throw one event scenario, it comes, I don't know why it works, but it works insanely good. You throw it out, it's a, it's a physical hit. So it physically hits them, and, it cracks them and breaks them, and then they're physically available for a fatal strike. So that's why I've included it. I still think it's insane, and the way I've built it, it's still insane for me, it still does mega damage, it's still perfect. And like I said, I've included in the video for you how to use it. But yeah, that's a little side note for that. But yeah, man, hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, let me know. I will be covering uh, some more World Long content. I didn't want to cover it before, like I said, but after the patch up there, they did change a few things. And for me, like I said, I don't like to deal with any dead mods or whatsoever or uh, speculate this does this, this does that. If I'm going to make a true god build, I'm going to prove it. I have proven it by running the whole game on NG+. Not a single damage taken. All the bosses I've beat in a matter of minutes, destroyed them, I've trolled them. Um, I've just took my time and it's just insane. So I can't do anything more with the build. Like it is capped. It is it is the most powerful OP build for what we're long whatsoever, hands down. Um, I've gone through every single mod. There's nothing else we can change. Uh, we could tweak a few things here and there to change it around. But like I said, it's a very meticulous build. And I'll cover the area angle for you. And that's how my god builds do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, let me know. I'll put in the links in the description. Um, all the no uh, damage god build. Uh, well, all the no damage runs out on an NG plus and all the bosses so you can watch those back but yeah good luck on your bills make the bills how you want to make them um have fun with the game i love this game i think it's insane and i'm going to be covering a lot more bills to the game so i really enjoy it um i've done everything on the game uh, there's nothing left for me to do but because i enjoy it i'm probably gonna do some more bills and have more fun with it so i will do some more content but again um i stream on twitch every day i do content every day links will be in the description for you as well so whatever game i'm streaming it doesn't even matter you can still join and ask questions for any other game I play or stream, and I'm happy with that. But on that note, I appreciate the time, and thank you for everything, and for all the support. And I'll catch you folks in the next one. Take it easy, and peace out. Alright, so what you do is put your amplified damage on. Hit him with the venom snare. Put your lightning on your weapon. And what you'll notice is every time you hit somebody with four, lightning attacks, you put them in a stun state. And watch that spirit just break now. Hit him with the rocks. Now you do heaviness damage to him as well. Hit him with another toxin, or maybe two, because you have such high spirit meter. And watch that spirit break. Perfect. And get a couple of slashes in. And look how much damage we do. And that's all you do. And that is it.
is the build. The new updated build. Flawless victory.